Ah yes, the humble squirrel, man's best friend. You can find these guys pretty much anywhere on the planet. Living on every continent besides Australia and Antarctica, you'll probably see these little fellows just about every day if you look in the right places. There's over a hundred species of tree squirrel, like the eastern gray squirrel, the red squirrel, and the western gray squirrel, and the American red squirrel, the fox squirrel, the Albert squirrel, the Allen squirrel, the black giant squirrel, the Calabrian black squirrel, and the northern Amazon red squirrel, and the southern Amazon red squirrel, and the Mexican fox squirrel, the Brazilian squirrel, the Indian giant squirrel, the Indian palm squirrel, and the Japanese squirrel, and the red-tailed squirrel, just to name a couple. When they're not scurrying around or mating though, you can find these sneaky tree rats snacking on their diet of nuts, seeds, and tree buds. If there's no plant material around, squirrels may fill their tummies by consuming certain small insects. How's that for pest control? Some squirrels, mostly the ones who live in urban areas, can actually become pretty comfortable around people. If you approach them politely enough, they may even gobble up your nuts. But one thing you might not know about squirrels is that the gobbling won't stop at your nuts. In fact, scientific data suggests that the squirrels have their sights set on gobbling your flesh. Destruction Chaos Apocalypse Murder Calamity Rodent Despite their aggressive nature, tree squirrels usually live around 5 to 6 years in the wild, but can sometimes grow to be up to 15 years old if they have a strong will to live. Squirrels, much like the average pirate, spend a lot of effort burying things in the ground. Unlike the average pirate, however, squirrels do not know how to make treasure maps causing them to lose track of some of their nuts. In time, these forgotten nuts sprout into saplings, causing millions of trees to be planted every year by squirrels. Since squirrels don't know how to read traffic signage, they can often be seen walking right in front of oncoming traffic. This is why we often use the term squirrel walking to refer to a pedestrian who does not use the crosswalk. Do your part to save the squirrels. Get some nuts, feed a squirrel, save a life. 